in this video we'll see how to configure Cisco switches with VLANs so first I have to uh, choose uh, some switch like 2960 okay so let's call let me call this switch I name it as W and uh, when I go to the switch I choose command line interface now the switch is booting because I just uh, bring it to the I brought it to the working uh, area now Okay, so now I go to the uh, through the enable mode to the enable mode or privilege exec mode. Uh, global uh, conf t global configuration mode. From here, I can change the host name of the switch to SW. So it has changed. Now, let me just go back to the privilege exec mode. The first thing I will do is to is to display the MAC address table, and in the MAC address table, well let's say show. VLAN brief. Uh, what we see with this command show VLAN, show VLAN brief. Uh, it displays all the VLANs which are configured in Cisco in this Cisco switch. Uh, by default, Cisco switch have uh, five uh, VLANs from the factory. They come like this by default. VLAN one. This is the default VLAN. VLAN one thousand two. VLAN one thousand three. VLAN one thousand four and one thousand five. Nowadays, those VLANs are not used. VLAN 1002, 3, 4, and 5, they are not used anymore. And uh, we can use VLAN 1. So by default, all ports of the switch belong to VLAN 1. So we have uh, 24 ports, fast Ethernet ports, and 2 gigabit uh, interface uh, ports. So by default, all the ports of the switch are uh, members of VLAN 1. So in fact, the switch comes from the factory with 5 default VLANs. Uh, we cannot uh, change the name of these VLANs. These VLANs also cannot be deleted, cannot be renamed. You can do nothing with this VLAN. They are like this, but uh, you can create new VLANs. So in my case, let me show you how to create VLANs on uh, Cisco switch. You go to the global configuration mode, and then you enter, for example, fast Ethernet 0, zero 01. In the switch, it starts with zero 01, not like in the router, which starts where the first where the name of the first internet starts with zero zero in switch they always start with zero slash one now here i put this uh, switch port mode access so i want to configure this uh, switch port as an access port an access port is a port which connects to an end device like a uh, computer uh, server printer and so on and then i will configure this uh, port to be a switch port uh, for example, I can see all the commands which come uh, here. Switch uh, port, access, VLAN, let's say 100. Now, uh, this VLAN doesn't exist, so it will be automatically created. So I created VLAN uh, 100. Uh, now from here, I can exit this interface. Go to a second interface, let's say fast Ethernet 0 slash uh, 2. And I will configure this second interface as an access uh, port. This is an access port, which should be connected to an end device. And I will uh, make this access port member of uh, VLAN 100. Uh, OK, I can do a similar thing. I can create another VLAN. Uh, well, in this case, there is another way to create VLANs, for example, Instead of assigning a port to a VLAN and then automatically creating this uh, VLAN, I can start by creating VLAN, let's say VLAN uh, 200, like this. And I assign name to this VLAN, for example, engineering. Okay. Uh, now, uh, since I created this VLAN, uh, I can exit and I can put interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 10. Uh, switch port mode access so I'm configuring this interface as an uh, this port as an access port and also I will uh, configure this port to be a member of uh, VLAN 200 okay so I can do the, sa the same thing exit from here I go to another interface fast internet 0 slash uh, 11 configure this interface as an access port or this port as an, uh, as an access port uh, this part is member of uh, VLAN uh, 200. VLAN 200. Okay, this can be done. So from here I can have do show VLAN brief, VLAN brief, and I display the 
my uh, VLAN table so I see that I created two new VLANs VLAN 100 this is the default name of VLAN uh, 100 and this is VLAN 200 wh whose name uh, uh, whose name is uh, engineering and here I can see the status of this VLAN it, uh, they have active uh, status and uh, th these are the ports which are uh, member of this members of these uh, VLANs okay so these are the part now I can always go back to VLAN 100 to to assign to it names for example I can go VLAN 100 I use this command okay and here I uh, I call it for example science okay so I execute the command again uh, all right and I see that VLAN 100 now has been named science instead of default name and these are the two ports which are uh, initially uh, which have been assigned uh, to VLAN 100 so now what we can do we can bring house like this I can bring PC I will put uh, four four PCs I will connect each one of these uh, PCs for example PC 0 I connected to port uh, 1 PC 1 I connected to port uh, 2 PC 2 I connected to port uh, 10 and PC3 connected to port 11 so what I do now I'm going to configure so this is my switch I will configure each one of these PCs with an IP address let's start this IP address is 192.168.0.1 with the default subnet mask then this one it will be will be assigned the IP address 192.168.0.2 uh, the other one will be assigned IP address 192.168.0.3 and the third one will be assigned IP address uh, 192.168.0.4 okay now let's see now uh, PC0, PC1 are connected to uh, let me just display the uh, show link show oil support labels okay so now as you notice here from pc0 i'll try to ping to pc1 192.168.0.2 so you see it's working they are on the same the same vlan but from pc0 uh, try to ping pc2 which has this ip address it's not going to work because now uh, pc0 and pc2 are on totally different vlans so this guy here is in VLAN 100 and uh, PC2 is in, is in VLAN uh, 200 how uh, their ports to which they are connected are members of different VLANs so let's come back here let's see what's going on uh, let's display the VLAN you see uh, the port port uh, Fastenet 0102 they are, are both members of VLAN 100 ports Fastenet 010, 0 slash 10 and Fastenet 0 slash 11 are both members of VLAN 200 so VLAN are recognized by ports so ports belong to VLANs and if you connect computer to VLAN uh, to port uh, 1 or port 2 then it becomes a member of VLAN 100 now if you reconnect that computer to VLAN 10 or, or, or 11 then it becomes a member of VLAN 200 that's why here we say that VLAN uh, are by uh, port membership it's a port membership uh, which defines so to which VLAN uh, computer is uh, connected so you see now if uh, PC0 cannot communicate with uh, with the uh, host with PC2 with PC2 so there is no communication at all uh, now let's go to PC3 PC3 we try to ping to 192.168.0 3 which is PC2 you see it works but if from PC3 I try to communicate with uh, PC1 it doesn't work so they are both on different VLANs so initially now if uh, how to delete these VLANs it's very simple uh, I simply uh, now if I delete the VLANs directly so at first uh, I first need to go to each port so we will see this in the next uh, video